Hello everyone and welcome to the latest Beatle News Briefs. I'm Steve Marinucci and this show is dated December 21st, 2018 and happy holidays to everybody. The news this week, the big news of course, was that Ringo and Ron Wood joined Paul on Get Back at Paul's show in London at the O2 Arena on the 16th, which was Paul's last show of the, live show of the year. Paul told the audience ahead of time he had a little surprise for him, and then an extra drum kit was brought out, and Ringo and Ron Wood joined the band. Ringo said, I don't know about you, but that was a thrill for me. Stella McCartney had spilled the the secret that Ringo and Ron Wood were there when she posted a picture with Paul backstage before the show. In other news, Billboard revealed their top ten best reissues of the year, and the Deluxe White Album took the top spot. They called it a, quote, a wonderland of revelations. They ended their comments by saying, quote, Giles Martin indeed does his father George a wonderful honor by making this most important work in the Beatles' canon all the more essential, unquote. The Wings, Wildlife, and Red Rose Speedway boxes were listed under worth checking out. So they did get mentioned. And in case you didn't know about this, just out at the end of November was a is a new album called Impressions of Pepper. Uh, it's a cover album by a jazz artists of the Beatles Sgt. Pepper album. We're not going to read through the whole track list, but here's a couple of uh, examples. Uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is done by Antonio Sanchez. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds was performed by Micaiah McCraven. Within You Without You was performed by the Onyx Collective, and A Day in the Life is performed by the Juju Exchange. A link for this album will be on our That's What I Want Beatles store page on Facebook, and it'll also be in the Beatles News and Information group. We have some chart positions for you from the Billboard issue of the week of December 22nd. On the Billboard 200, number 57, down from 43 is the White Album. 117, up from 127 is Abbey Road. Uh, Top Album Sales, number 14, down from 11 is the White Album. 49, up from 55 is Abbey Road. Catalog Albums, number 17, down from 12 is the White Album. 38, up from 40 is Abbey Road. Top Rock Albums, number 8, down from 5 is The White Album. Number 16, up from 18 is Abbey Road. Back on the the chart at 25 is Red Rose Speedway by Paul McCartney. Number 28, up from 32 is Power to the People, The Hits by John Lennon. 32, up from 38 is McCartney 2. And 40, the same as last week, is The Beatles 1 Album. Rock Digital Song Sales, number 25, back on the chart, is Wonderful Christmas Time. Vinyl, uh, at the num- at the top spot, number 1, up from number 3 is Abbey Road. Number 6, up from 7, is The White Album. And number 20, back on the chart, is Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Uh, Artist 100, uh, on, at number 43, down from 30, 37, is The Beatles. On the holiday charts, number 19 down from 15 is Wonderful Christmas Time. Number 22, staying the same, is Happy Christmas. Holiday Airplay, number 20 down from 17 is Wonderful Christmas Time. Number 24 down from 21 last week is Happy Christmas. Holiday Streaming, number 24 down from 20 is Wonderful Christmas Time. Number 23 down from 22 is Happy Christmas. And from the UK, from the official charts, uh, dot com, uh dated December 14th, Albums Top 100, number 39 down from 37 is The White Album, at number 82, New, is Red Rose Speedway, at number 93, Staying the Same, is The Beatles 1. On the Singles Top 100, at number 48, up from 62, is Wonderful Christmas Time, Singles Audio Streaming, number 15 up from 28 is Happy Christmas. Number 18 up from 31 is Wonderful Christmas Time. On the vinyl chart, number 5 staying the same is the White Album. Number 25 up from 33 is Sgt. Pepper. Number 27 back on the chart is Red Rose Speedway. Uh, McCartney McCartney Setlist Watch, he made one really big change. He added Wonderful Christmas Time to his three shows in Liverpool, Scotland, and in London. 
We'll have more news, by the way, on the McCartney remasters in upcoming shows. We have some special stuff coming up that you are not going to want to miss. So, um, that's all I'll say about that. Um, on this day in history, December 21st, 1967, the Beatles held a party at the Royal Lancaster Hotel in London to preview Magical Mystery Tour. Um, born on December 21st in 1946, Carl Wilson of the Beach Boys. On December 22nd, 2010, the Abbey Road Zebra Crossing was, uh, zebra crossing was given a Grade 2 listing status. Uh, and recognized for its, quote, cultural and historical importance. Records released this week between December 17th and the 23rd, the Beatles' Christmas albums of 64, 65, 68, 69, and the 70 compilation of the Beatles' Christmas songs. Uh, This is the time of year for you to listen to Christmas music, uh, and there are, as you know, the Beatles Christmas records that we just mentioned. There's solo Beatle holiday songs and albums by all four Beatles, not to mention the private Christmas album by Paul McCartney that was bootlegged finally a couple of years ago. There's a Christmas album by our good friend Lawrence Juber. There's a new Monkeys Christmas album that includes a cover of Wonderful Christmas Time. And there are Beatles tribute Christmas albums and parody songs by such artists as the Fab Four, Bob Bob Rivers and the Beatmas and the British Invasion All-Stars. Well, we recently discovered an obscure one that we just happened to find tucked away in a record store, and believe it or not, we only paid 50 cents for it, by a group called The Buddies. It was released in 2005, and that Buddies is B-U-T-T-I-E-S, as in Jam Buddies. It's called 12 Greatest Carols. The cover is a takeoff on the 20 Greatest Hits album. You remember that one, right? There are 12 tracks on the album. Our favorite, though, is We Wish You a Merry Christmas slash A Jolly Old St. Nicholas that draws from the Sgt. Pepper reprise and the outtake version of A Day in the Life and even incorporates a play on Mal Evans' Countdown. The album is streamed on YouTube and you can and you can also buy MP3s through Amazon, and we've put a link for those MP3s on our That's What I Want Beatles store page. I really suggest you check check this one out. It's really a lot of fun. Really a lot of fun. It's 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 even better in some ways than the Fab Four album. I'm sorry about that, Fab Four fans, but it it really is. It's a great it's a great little album, and I'm surprised it hasn't gotten more notice than it did. Uh, Magazine alert, if you have a record store near you, be sure to get the latest issue of Record Collector. It has the Beatles' White Album faces on the cover. You can catch our shows on fab4radio.com or on iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Please join our Beatles News and Information Group on Facebook for the latest in the Beatles world, and check out our That's What I Want Beatles Store page on Facebook for gift ideas for yourself or your favorite people. Look for our next show and please subscribe to us and rate us on iTunes or wherever you find us, please. Till next time, this is Steve Marinucci saying... Be seeing you. that one market fab